Nigeria in recent past is the largest economy in Africa ahead of countries like South Africa, Egypt. All of a sudden, the countries witnessed one of the worst recession in 25 years attributed to oil glut. However, unemployment which has affected youths could be tamed as most analysts pointed to the fact that the government needs to create an enabling environment where the youths could be harnessed for the betterment of the country. If you can create a lot of skill acquisition schools where you can train people with a lot of skills, nobody will bother of going to the government to look for the job, for a job. They will go out and train themselves. At the end of the day, they will even employ more. So you cannot tell me that you did not give me an ample opportunity to do something and you are blaming me for not doing it. As a government, it's the responsibility of the government to create jobs. We have experienced what is called recession. And this recession is a global phenomenon that affected almost every part of the world. So now, instead for the employment, the states, that is Nigeria as a state, is making all what it could to change the rudiment from the employment to agriculture, trying to give people a kind of a colossal amount of money to embark in agriculture. Violence and other forms of negative acts are always trailed to youths who have the most energy but having nowhere to burn it. The youths have to, you know, train twice because uh, this college job issue, uh, the world is developing. You see, all these we are talking, you know, uh, let them look at it, you know, uh, in all institutions. Go to the banks, you know, companies and other areas. You see that the employed, you know, the system there is changed. You know, urge the government at the federal level to provide means, uh, I mean, good economic policies, where small scale industries should continue to exist, where the companies that we have should continue to be vibrant. By that, employment will be. Uh, more pronounced. Nigeria's educational setup is tailored towards one going to school to acquire certificates to be employed in civil service or other white collar jobs, which are not forthcoming these days. Our educational qualification did not prepare you for any eventuality. It only prepares his mind, let me finish, graduate, and get an employment with the government. And that mindset, I always carry it because if you look at the number of youths that are coming out of the university and the available opportunities for them in terms of government employment is very, very minimal. So As the country approaches the 2019 general elections, the advocacy is to accommodate the youths who can be used negatively by desperate politicians. Abdraman Abubakar, 2-6 News.